Hey everybody, Dr. Bender here. I'm going to demonstrate the push-up progressions. And the reason that I start, instead of off your knees like some people do, onto an uh, elevated surface, is because I want people holding that plank position like this. And I've got the bar on an elevated surface. You basically want the bar high enough that it is challenging to get 10 repetitions. So your hands are about shoulder width apart. You want your head in a neutral position, not down, not back. You want your hips in a neutral position with your core tight. You don't want your hips back, or your hips sagging down. And as you come down, your, your elbows will come back about a 45 degree angle, bar to about the nipple level, and press up. Just like that. When it gets to be easy, or not easy, but not as challenging to do 10 repetitions, just keep lowering the bar, or you can use something like a bench, like this. Any elevated surface that's stable, use a box, do the push-ups off of here. Once you work your incline down to the ground level to a regular push-up, just like that, down to make it a little more challenging, raise one foot each time. Once it's not as challenging to do that. You can go to a decline push-up like this. Again, you can throw the raising the foot thing in. Makes it a little more challenging. The last progression is using slides on your hands. You're coming down. And you notice I'm raising the foot each time. That's the highest progression that I know raising the opposite foot, or the other opposite foot. And those are all of the push-up progressions.